It's risky here. Now we are in the underground lab of Jupiter, here in the Chernobyl zone. Just look at that, it's chemistry to heaven. And we decided to make some experiment there. The situation is out of control, just like always. <laughs> First things first. While we were wandering along the pool, the official excursion had blocked the exit. Vadim went right through them. Hello. hello. My name is Vadim. Hi. Hello. Hi, hello. Hello. Where are you from? Nice. Miss Talkery. And he was almost caught. Hi. Yes. Hello there. Yes. We have gone through the emergency exit we found. And we left the building easily. Just walk calm and easy. We really got lost here, that's it. Well, all of us together went in a row, escaping from this plane before someone got us. I just can't realize if I need to run or maybe just stay cool. Hush! Don't let us down, there's going to be an invasion, don't you think? This is our 16th floor block of flat. Such power. It was a cool city there. Here we are, it's the Jupiter factory. Everyone here knows this place. This factory produced mobile tape recorders, but in fact, there was a secret military lab under it. We don't know exactly what for it was there, but now we're going to find it out. The factory is huge. Right at the entrance there is a motherland from a lamp TV, and it still has a high-frequency transformer. And to that, not a single lamp here, everything stolen. This was some control panel. Is that a Soviet PS1? There are some buttons, power off, rise up. There was a face control. Imagine, people really went through the thing. Does it work now? Focus, that's a real monitor of those times, just imagine. It's from 80s, the tech was hard those times. Maybe we can see something else here, it's so atmospheric in there. And that is an ancient fridge. So many radio details, that may be an ATC. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are some ATCs. There are billions in here, oh nice. So many parts and oh, so much drawers. Details, instruments. <gasps> hey guys, the bobbins here. That is what the stalkers are looking for. It's an individual dosimeter kit. Look at this, it's an elevator shaft. Of course there's no elevator anymore. Oh my gosh. I don't know what for this tape was, but I suggest it was for data recording, just like we use the flashcards now. Okay, better stop. There's a riddle for you. What's that? So many numbers on this list. Who knows what is that? Now I don't have an ocean what is that for. So many cleaning records. Spetsatum Prefect City dormitories. One floor above, there is a... We have been at the wheel today. Yeah. I have found the voodoo doll inside, and they were the needles in her eyes. We are in the Jupiter now. And it isn't just another doll. It has her clothes torn apart and head smashed. Do you realize that someone left these dolls intentionally in different places? Maybe that is just to scare the tourists, maybe for fun? It can be the crazy head sectants that live here. All the stalker guys that are mocking us. But the thing is that no excursions go here. Let's move up to visit the director of this place. Space Atom is the factory that made robots for fire liquidation. Wow! So these robots were cleaning the nuclear reactor after the explosion. Have a look how many sensors there were for sure. There was a detecting module, swing module, reverse block, turning module. That's a weird robot called Vizier. The laser aimer, oh my gosh, there were so cool robots those times. 
The cable walker. What's that? Propane deactivation. Radioactive lakes controlling module. Some manipulators. The medical alcohol has turned to be inappropriate, it says. The crab model. Holy moly, just have a look at this cute antenna. This is a valley or something, right? Yeah, it's volley. Listen, these wardrobes are just amazing. They are so cool. That's boss's room. Dudes, we found a closed safe. There's a simple way the murderers did that. They took the safe and threw it down to the ground. Maybe you can throw it down? Really? Don't do this! Why? Do not do this, please! Oh, come on! We can't decide what to do. Do you want us to throw it down to open or what? Or oh, we shouldn't do this. There are the guys. You have really freaked us out! Cause you heard some noises. We'll come back here at night, cause there's an abandoned underground lab full of chemicals and test tubes. Here we are, close to Pripyat, and it's very easy to see us on this road, so we're gonna run. There's a car going here, I can hear it. Why you don't bother at all? We're having fun. Faster guys, there's a car going right here. That was an excursion. Vadim, why we don't take the legal excursions? That is not interesting at all. It's boring, it's just gay. <laughs> that wouldn't be the right atmosphere. You would feel like you are tight hands and legs. They can't go anywhere. They can't climb anywhere. So we choose not legit. I just call it a free excursion. <laughs> Here's coming someone else, damn it. There's a special taste of not legit excursions. Another cons is that everyone has their private running trainer. I'm talking about the cars. We keep running from them and feel the adrenaline. The best trainers are the cops, guys. I'm not agree, the best trainer is a big moose. A 500 kilograms moose. One in five, maybe a ton. That guy that saw us stopped and started calling someone. He went farther, hid and started calling. I'm not joking, guys. He wears needed coat. And there were three in black, all in black. It wasn't the guy with the phone, wasn't it? Hush everyone, we gotta move from here. Someone's there. That's the trash, guys. We start running again. Let's just hide on the roof. We can wait here half an hour and they will lose us. That's a nice idea. Cause when we run, we draw their attention. With everyone. These guys went somewhere. There is a minibus. Yeah, there are some people here. Maybe we should go to some building, we can hide there. We need to find the others. The rest of your group. We're going to stay in the stadium waiting for our guys. Be careful, the excursions are coming. Was it going to the daisy? Yeah, but the excursions are there now. Right, maybe we should stay in the stadium an hour or so. How can they find us at all? When they were going back, we started running and they lost us again. I would climb in the station to see what is happening. It's a show up and there's a radiation sign. See? The radiation rate is okay, isn't it? It's high but not critical. Try metal. The rate is obviously higher. Yeah, and I don't have the gloves. It's a bit radioactive. There's a car or something. Hush, hear it? Silence. There are going some people, and from here too, it isn't Vadim. There's a car. It's far. That was doing Vadim meanwhile. Are you a freak, aren't you? When to get lost from here, there are people. Loco. I've pumped. Get this, it's necessary to pump. It's a prepaid gym. A funny thing happened. We've delayed two minutes. And the guys left us. And we can't find them. We ran and finally got lost here. We don't know where to go now. We are wandering for 30 minutes or something. And we still can't find the guys. And we keep stumbling on excursions. We always pretend that we are from excursion too. And they start thinking that we are from another excursion. And every time they suspect something, we disappear. There's an awful lot of them. So we have a plan, we are searching, there is something's going. We have a special code that sounds like... If Vlad calls back, that would mean... They may be just far now, don't hear us. Heard that? Yeah. You're gonna charge the phone and call them. 
Hello, guys. Yeah, where are you? High stations are filled. All right, got it. Stay there. We are coming. There are people. Yeah, we know we are hiding. Right on the tower. Come on. Wait, we are going. We are coming. Now we need to go through the road fast, extremely fast. Minibuses are okay, but there are cars going around. That is very dangerous. And there are two stalker cars. They pretend and they give away other stalkers. There is a boss. There we are, we found him. Our guys. Here they are, waiting, right near the tower. How we get lost? Hello, guys. We're stuck in the forest in a minute. But he asked me to film his exercising, and then I have filmed a minute, and you are gone already. Fancy, we went on the road, and the tough dudes are coming into us. I drew the camera and pretend I was filming something, and the big dude said hello, and we just went further. Imagine that. We are going to the roof to show you, to show you the prepitch. I nearly fell. The prepit down. This roof is just awesome. Wow, there's an elevator motor. Oh my. It's the elevator chamber all the part. The motor here, the reducer, all is torn apart. Oh my gosh. Other guys are here already. Do you like it? So many traces here. LOL, I found some money in prepit roof. It's Ukrainian, there must be some Belarusian. Have a look here. The official guides are so nasty. They started showing us to tourists like in a zoo. They brought here some Americans and said, Wow, stalkers! Hey you, run! And everybody prepared their smartphones and cams and started filming how we are running from them. They were just filming stalkers running away. The excursions don't go to the buildings, Vlad. They went in our house. No, listen, this excursion is another. They have some special accompaniment. They all went in our block of flats. When I looked there last time, some dude in the uniform was looking right into me. Well, guys, it's funny here, I can say for sure. They caught us friends. Oh my gosh, what if it's a trap? They were going to the roof. What can you say about it? It's a trap, it's a fiasco. Wherever we go, officials go after us. All going after us. There's too much excursion, despite it's winter now. And we don't understand if it's just an excursion or they are following us. Imagine if they go here and show the tourists how we live there. And tell them that they are illegals. Yeah, and see what they eat here and sleep. Gosh, gosh, gosh. In the entrance. Oh my gosh. At night, there go half legal excursions. There are about 100 people in the neighborhood entrance. They might go on the roof now. Let's go out of here. They can't see us, just don't move. Prepared leaves day and night. I see their lights in the neighbor windows. See, Danton. What do you think about it? I think I have a radioactive dust in my eye. Ouch, it's scratchy. But speaking seriously, I really believe that when we come here, we'll be alone here. Because it's a closed territory. And they are realized that I have a piano. Let's scare them away. That's hard. Do not do it at home. Let's create the atmosphere. We do this. The atmosphere is created. Let's play in the nerves now. And others have come to stop us already. Let's get out, it's so stinky here. It wasn't me. Something weird is happening. These crazy excursions go all around the houses. You can hear it now. The steps, they might be in our entrance. Seat. Oh my gosh. They're opening us. They're opening. They're breaking the door, though we made some barricades. Should we scare them away? Don't let them know about us. They're breaking in. Don't do anything. The opposite side. Relax, lad. Hush. Maybe we should leave and wait. 
They will see us now. They over here. They can come here. It's occupied. Are you joking or something? We were hiding from officials too, guys. These officials can't go inside the flats, can they? Yeah, it is more expensive, but they let them inside, officially. Okay, relax, they are only stalkers too. They are just like us, all of them. We always measure our boots' radiation. The radiation is so funny and miserable, it's 5 and 10. It is growing still. I know why it's so low. When we walk on the roof, the snow cleans them. We have created a mini socks dryer. We're going to Jupiter, holy darkness. We'll go to the basement, it's so dark here. There's an abandoned military lab. There's lots of chemicals and we'll do some weird chemical reactions. Hope it will not explode there. There are also the radioactive boxes. They are more radioactive than the coats in the medical wing. And they're going in! It's a real hardcore. The chemical protection of previous stalkers. I have same at home. Oh my gosh, it's so fluted! There's water everywhere! It isn't deep in here though, this water is rusty but transparent. It must be slightly radioactive. We are putting on the suits and masks. We will also try to keep our legs safe from water. And going down, right into the secret lab. The times when the catastrophe happened, it was this basement, where they tried to remove the radiation. They brought here the radioactive things and tried to destroy it. That's why there are plenty of different chemicals. We are using the plastic bags. We're gonna make our booze waterproof like this. It's a Darth Vader effect. The clapping works, put on a mask Anthony and here we go. The water is cold here. How do you wear it? That's hard. Don't do it at home. I feel some danger in all this, you know? There's a steep way down nextly. Careful guys. Here we go guys. I feel like the water is pushing back and will not get inside. It's okay. Water will place plastic bags harder. Just look at this door, it's so heavy. Now it's clear that it's a real bunker. How about the radiation rate? It is very low. Look up here, guys. Some insulated ventilation. It isn't the real ventilation, I suppose. It must be a part of heating system. Doors here. Don't touch it. If I stop touching it, it will fall. Why touch it at all? I meant to open it, you know? Careful! It is falling apart! Such an adventure! Calm down, the professional is on the ground. No splashes at all. Guys, please, don't destroy the lab! It is very scary to be here, especially with these bags. Look what we've got here! I don't get what it is yet, but these are some chemicals for sure. Follow me, I'll show you something. That's the exit to the factory. To the factory? Oh, alright. What the hell is that? I don't know. Oh, this must be the tracer ropes. Those are the ropes we used to jump. Here they are, just imagine that. You know guys, trust me, that is just the small stuff. It's a chemical shelf, plenty of dichlophos. What were they doing with these cans? Hey guys! There's a graphite road, you like it, right? Do you know what it is, guys? That's a graphite road from the nuclear reactor. And someone has solved a piece of it. The same roads are in the heart of the nuclear power plants, imagine that. Have a look at this! These must be the sand samples. Look here, show me! Chelsky district. These are from the different prepared districts. Do you want to look at it, really? Unboxing. Unboxing. In the Chernobyl lab. Let's put it on the floor and measure the radiation. It's just the clay. It seems okay. Water is the only drawback. And it's really warm here. The walled up door here. There must be a room behind it. And they blocked it with a table. With the iron table. It's like in the movie, Alex. 
And what's that? There's plenty of empty chemical test tubes here. The water must be dangerous. That's the chemicals room. I move, you get in. Let's go. Everyone, it's an entire abandoned chemical lab. Holy moly, there are so plenty of things here. Ew, the smell here. It is just amazing. Show it, it's frozen. Nickel chloride, just look at all this. I can't stop admiring it. Hexogen? Oh my, yes. Hexogen for chromatography. Oh my gosh. And there's a danger sign. I think it can explode. Yeah, that is just for us. It is really dangerous here. Don't ever go here just for a walk. Cobalt surfate. We found the hexogen. There are the mushrooms here. Weird. They come from the test tubes. Oh my zone. Holy stalker. One is swimming. Guys, last time I was here alone, I didn't know what it is at all. Look at this orange thing. You tried to light it up, right? Copper dichloride. Oh my goodness. France is the chemistry heaven. The chemistry heaven. Potassium chloride. Smells bad. Let's move out of here. Why? We're escaping from fear! <laughs> I feel so excited about these little test tubes. And the radiation is okay. These guys are mad because they are going to see the radioactive box. Oh my gosh! All it's fluted. We should get out from here. Let's go, it's safe there. Guys, I gotta film from the distance, okay? I'm already in shock just staying here with you. And do it faster, please. I really wanna get out of here. Anthony, let's go with us! What's the radiation rate here? This place is really dangerous to stay. If you are sane, don't ever go here at all. You don't need it. Just look at these bags. There is something inside of them. I just wonder what it is. And it's extremely radioactive. You might hear the cracking right now. These guys are crying there, but I don't go inside. Get back faster, idiots. It is really radioactive here. Let's go and get some radiation, guys. Betty, move! Let's go, faster! Go, please! Faster! Go faster! Put your hands there! Film it here, closer! Light right inside! Faster! It's a thousand! Faster, idiots! Go out fast! Move, everyone! Come on, come on, party is over! What was the maximum rate? It was 1700. 1700? Holy sh. Finally, I'm going out of here. That was scary. Hey, Anton, this glass touched the box. Fucking moron. Don't worry. Vlad. Take a look here, Vlad. See. I'm gonna hit you. Hey, Anton. Fuck off, shit. Vlad, come on, stop it. I'm not Vlad. Hexogen for chromatography. What will happen if I add here some heavy things? Guys, we're doing it with scientific interest. Do not ever try what you see here. What we're doing? I'm filming the content. Don't want to get hurt with explosion. You have a hard work, dude. You really think that the dog can protect you from hexogen? What it is? It's gas. I don't know, maybe it's okay. 